Yeah, I had two siblings that were serious Alzheimer's, and another a sister that had, that, I think it's called frontal lobe, lobe thing, and I could see them deteriorating, and that, that was a sad thing to see. So when I was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, I, I wasn't surprised. I was, in, I was in denial, to be honest, before I got diagnosed. And then I got a phone call the next day from the family doctor saying, Ron, you've got Alzheimer's and you have to give up your driver's license, period. So I'm thinking at the time, now what the heck am I going to do? So that's when I started to do the thinking about how, to, how do I offset this, how do I fight this? I never, I've never believed in just accepting something and saying, okay, that's it. No, that's, you can change whatever you can change. I decided that I'd take the languages, and as I said, that didn't work, and then I ended up at the university. And it just really helped. Um, it was really important for him to continue his studies because of his diagnosis with Alzheimer's. Um, he felt that being in an academic environment where um, you were required to keep your mind active and um, being tested periodically would be very healthy for him. So when I thought about it, then I intuitively thought about university. And it's helped so much. Like, my long-term memory has improved. And the reason it's improved because of political science, in a way, because I lived through all of that. And when they mentioned something like the national energy policy or they mentioned about the constitutional talks, bingo! All of a sudden, I remember these things, which I couldn't have remembered before, which is wonderful. And the socialization part of it has been wonderful. The kids have treated me so well. Like I lost a sister only a week ago, a younger sister. And the condolences I got from the kids, it, it really got to me. I'm sorry. It, it was so uh, heartfelt. These kids are great. I can't emphasize that enough. This generation is the most loving generation I've known for a long time. It's been a really unique opportunity uh, having Ron in the classroom, particularly because uh, Disability Studies 1010 uh, is a class really about engaging with disability in ways in which most of our students have never considered, have never thought about disability in this way. Uh, what's really amazing about having Ron in the classroom is now we have this individual who can speak for himself to say, this is how these things are impacting me in my life. This is what my life has looked like as it's changed with the diagnosis of Alzheimer's. Um, so he's been able to add this richness to our classroom conversations, which we don't always get, uh, which has been fantastic. Um, one of the things that actually really um, impresses me is not just the ways in which Ron has been able to integrate himself into the classroom, um, but the ways in which he is just another one of the students, um, that he is making friends in the classroom. There are people that he sits with uh, every week and they're talking about not just school, but about life. Uh, and it really is a learning experience for both sides, that I think both Ron and also um, the, the students who are quite younger, a lot younger than him, um, are both benefited from this interaction, not just socially, but also to be able to get perspectives that are outside of both of their experience sets. Uh, that's been, I think, really fruitful. I think that Ron has added a really important voice to our campus. Obviously, he has great experience as a talented former journalist, and you're just kind of captivated with him when you talk to him. He's a natural storyteller. Um, so I think he's added a lot to our campus and students have been drawn to him because he has a lifetime of experience that he can share with students. Yeah, you'll, you'll have a much happier life if you can adapt.